Your trailer driver decided to make his own exit off an interstate here in Texas and it didn't work out so well. We do this in Texas. CNN's <laughs> Jeannie Mose reports on the shortcut he took that went long and wrong. It's enough to get a chuckle out of even an Amazon package. <laughs> there on Interstate 45 headed to Dallas, an Amazon tractor trailer cut across the grass to get out of a traffic jam caused by an accident headed for a service road. Kemi Hardman recorded the scene, which she called wild. I was pretty amazed. I really didn't expect it to make it through, um, but somehow he, he did. The Amazon truck wasn't the first to attempt the shortcut, and others followed the tractor trailer across the grass. We were, we were dying laughing. I kind of started singing the, the TikTok song, the Jeff Bezos one. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos, come on Jeffrey, you can do it. Pave the way, put your back into it. It's the song comedian musician Bo Burnham performed in his Netflix special In Songs. Come on, Jeffrey, you can do it. It's become an anthem for mocking Amazon's founder, creators adding it to TikTok videos, showing an Amazon delivery van braving floodwaters in Michigan that sidelined other vehicles. Jeffrey Bezos. Or an Amazon worker delivering packages in the midst of homes damaged by a tornado tornado outside Chicago. TikTokers reacted to the truck crossing the grass with comments like, that next day delivery ain't no joke. Amazon itself told CNN, safety is our top priority, and this does not reflect the high standards we have for our transportation service providers. People kept asking Cammy, why are you driving on the shoulder? We were doing that because we were also going to follow the Amazon truck. Which she and her boyfriend did. As one poster noted, looks like a normal day in Texas. We make our own exits. But in this case, it was an exit to nowhere. But the service road actually had a dead end. So the Amazon truck ended up stuck in another traffic jam. Nothing prime about that shortcut. Oh, look at where you came from, look at you now. Genie Mose, CNN, it, New York. We well, see that every day. It's like, it's like no big deal. Why is that a story? Times <laughs> <laughs> are wrecked. Got cars and trucks going across the media. Oh, trying to get God the bless road. Texas. <laughs> Mike and Fiona, they don't take any shortcuts, though. Oh, no, no, wow. and I put him to work, you guys. <laughs> I've Look got him manning this the grill. Beautiful fajita meat we are cooking up here. Yep, it is National Fajita Day. And how does all you can eat fajita sound? We're going to tell you more about that in a moment. But right now, Gerardo Carvajal, corporate general manager of La Familia Cortez, you're going to be showing off your world famous fajitas that y'all do here. But what is the Hot secret girl. to making a great fajita meal? We're going to share that with you guys in just a minute. Okay, what Coming is it? up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you said you got to have good product and good prep, right? Yes, the pro uh, product and process play plays a big part. A lot of people think it is a marination, but it's not. It's really the product and the process. All and right. a good hot grill, too. That's right. Yeah. And a good grill cook. I think I need longer tongs, though, to reach that step on the backside there. All right. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and keep the flame alive with Jen Tobias Strusky. Or she's not. Okay, we don't have that. Okay. No, right. we don't. <laughs> okay. However, what? She is going to be uh, doing something that is amazing. And the question for the day is going to be, what would you like to try that you've never tried yet? Hmm. Let us know at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. Also, how about a fall wedding? We have got three gorgeous brides. We're going to be talking about the dresses, the makeup, and everything. All right, all that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. And we're going to be eating good. Welcome back. Temperatures are heating up. We'll be in the 90s here soon. 95, the expected high today, 30% chance of rain. Best chance now looks to be east of San Antonio, but a couple pop-ups possible. 96 tomorrow, 95 Friday. Hot this weekend and even hotter to start next week, guys. Ooh, there's summer for you. Speaking of hot, did you see the grill fired up? I was getting a little worried about Mike. Ooh. He needed gloves. <laughs> he was awful close to all that heat. National Fajita Day. He's Please bring him. Yeah. We're asking time. special requests that SA Live share some of that Look deliciousness. Good. All right. Let's see what uh, what happens with it all. SA Live starts right now. 
It is National Fajita Day. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful meat we got good going on the grill right here. We're gonna be eating this. We're gonna learn all the secrets, a little history behind fajitas and where you can get all you can eat fajitas. That's coming up. We're just hanging around the only circus center in the San Antonio area where we'll tell you where we are. And yes, I will learn some tricks from the experts today. And I've got an animal in this pouch that uses its nose to dig and can impersonate a rattler. You're going to meet him today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Hello and happy Wedding Wednesday. We are helping you get ready for fall wedding season by making sure you know all of the hottest trends this year. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Oster Hage. Oh, and I'm Fiona Borsiza. Woohoo! Yeah, you are manning yeah. the grill and doing all the heavy lifting right come now. This so, side here for yes, this. we've got a lot going on today, and Mike Oster Hage is going to be all over the place. Okay, we've got deals to save you money at local restaurants. We are going to tell you where in just a bit. And you just have to keep watching because those deals are going to pop up throughout the show. But since we love our viewers so much, we're going to give you the first one right now. In fact, how does all you can eat fajita sound? Yes, because we got a bunch here, but even more than that is going to be going on today. And to tell us all about that and the secret behind uh, the perfect fajita is the man himself, our dear friend, Rado Carvajal, Corporate General Manager, La Familia Cortez, and the secret to their world famous fajitas. And you I'll can't tell us the secret, though. Um, I, I, I can. <laughs> maybe later? Yes. Okay, maybe absolutely. later. Okay, but you say that it, it doesn't start with the marinade, it starts before that. Really, is a, with the, we start with the great product, best mm -hmm. product available that we can find in the market. In this case, we're using certified Angus beef. Yes, Mike, you want to throw some onions in there as well? Um, right. So we get that going. Yeah, we start with the certified Angus beef. Was that tequila? You just then, put tequila? Was that tequila? Uh, oil. <laughs> oil. Tequila. <laughs> Tequila's coming like, after. Did that say tequila? Pepper <laughs> still? Yeah. Yes, yes, go right ahead. Okay. You're going to add some seasoning to that, seasoning salt. So, so we start with the best product available, and then we continue, not just with that, we age the product. It's kind of like a fine wine. The, the uh, time and temperature plays a big role in the aging of the product. You know, anytime you age a product, you, you cannot just age it in your refrigerator at home. It will spoil. So this is a particular vacuum pack. You get all the air out in certain temperature, in certain temperature uh, time. That's what it takes uh, for the bacteria to grow very, very slowly. And that changes uh, the flavor of the meat and it breaks down the tissues of the meat, making it very, very tender naturally. Therefore, you don't have to use any tenderizers whatsoever. And you've got a great marinade yep. that's, that you and can so make So we got there a marinade right? going on in here. Okay, so first? let's let's go with oil there. Okay. You have a little bit of oil, then you have oregano. Okay. And then we're gonna add a little bit of liquid smoke for flavor. Okay. And then we got uh, Heinz 57 and Worcestershire. I'm always glad you say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult. Uh, garlic. Garlic. Yeah. We got uh, pepper. All of it? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Uh, bay leaves, a couple of bay leaves. A couple of bay leaves. Uh, a sliced onion. Some onions. And Coke. And Coca-Cola. Yes. Okay. Coca-Cola. About how much of this can am I putting uh, in? About, about a half of half it. Half of it? Okay. Yes. And that has a, has a natural tenderizer, so that's a great product to use. Okay. Now we're going to add the... Now we're going to put the meat in. Mm -hmm. And I took that off the grill. And like it. any meat on the grill, let it rest for a while so the juices stay in, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So okay. we're going to mix this really well. Mm -hmm. You got the tongs there. Yep. Mm -hmm. so and we're going to let it set for 20, about, about 24 hours. We're going to okay. let it set for 24 hours. Okay. 12 Everybody. hours is sufficient, but 24 hours is the best. So. Everybody loves fajitas. Mm -hmm. The fajitas here are... I know, I'm not just saying this because you're here, I love the fajita meat, but there's the history behind it here, Oh, right? this is the home of the fajita. This is where everything started, right across from SA Live Studio. So, it's so back cool in to be eight... this close to that history, Gerardo. <laughs> well, it is. Now, where did the idea, where was it born? Well, it, it came from Monterrey. Mr. Cortez took a trip to Monterrey, Mexico, to a restaurant called El Regio, where he had an arrachera steak. There he had idea about marinating it, slicing it, and serving it on a um, sizzling platter. 
And that's how the fajita was born. Okay. And the rest, as they say, is history. history. You say you had history. lines, I mean, going around the, the corner. Two hours. Came up. Two hours lines of people waiting, waiting to try the fajitas. And, and it's oh. still a great product. You know, a lot of people think it's, it's the marination, but it's really the, the product and the process. Now, folks can get all you can eat fajitas today, right? Correct. I mean, familia. Mm -hmm. So, closing time. Okay. Out there at the rim. rim. And at the rim. Is, yeah. It's, $24.95 uh, a person. Okay. Yeah. Three till close tonight, which is about uh, midnight yes. or so. And of course, you still have great. If food. you're downtown, you can come out to La Margarita, to the home of the fajitas, and we are have our fajita plates as a special. All oh. right. Thank you so much, Gerardo. For more information on La Familia Cortez, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Oh, we are going to be eating good here in just a couple of minutes. All right. It is the newest place in town to try your daredevil skills. Aerial City Studio teaches acrobatics, aerial dancing, and how to play with fire. Not on the grill, but like this. <laughs> yes. Our Jen Tobias Trusty is jumping into the action to see if she can stand the heat because Mike is dealing with that heat too right now. <laughs> Yes, I, I heard that. You guys have fajitas and fire. We got fire in a different way, and we'll get to that in a bit. But first, this is not your ordinary hammock. I'm going to learn some tricks from Kim here, who's already in place. And this is what these people here do. We have four instructors out here today with us. They love what they do. Tell me a little bit about what you're doing here and what you're using. So this is an aerial hammock. It's a silk that's rigged in a U shape, so you have a nice little seat and you could climb up and you could do all these amazing drops and flips and fun things from it um, and we have all levels of classes here for hammock all right so she's very passionate about this my producer robert yes i'm calling you out has informed me that i am learning everything today and so i can't be scared and we are going to give this a try now so go, go ahead and guide me through so we're going to put it on like a backpack elbows in front okay and you're going to lean back and straddle your legs. So get all the way to the U. Just open okay. your legs and put them oh. on the outside of the silk. Okay. And now you're hanging upside down. Okay. I'm going to turn you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nice, beautiful. Awkward angles. And I've we never could been cross anymore. our leg over one silk. Oh, here we go. To make it a pretty shape. Okay. Beautiful. Now straddle your legs one more time. And we're going to roll forward without catching onto the hammock. So lower your feet. Beautiful. <gasps> okay. Great job Whoa. today. That was and awesome. Thank you. And this is something you teach here. So people I can do come learn this. I teach here, yes. Um, again, all levels. Um, so come and try us out. Alrighty, now things are about to get heated as she steps away, and there's so many other things. There's also the trapezes here, but uh, we need to cue the Alicia Keys, right? Girl on fire, because the instructors here are also performers, so they have fun with fire, and we're about to get a taste of it. They're just switching out their mics really quick, but here it comes now, guys, and Tori is now Hi. joining me. Hello, Tori Bear. So and let me get you lit up here first. Full disclosure, I am terrified of flames, and they know that, so they've, they're doing a fun little something with me. Well, today we're gonna teach scary. you something super easy. You ready? Yes. So let's turn, do, do, do. <laughs> and down, I feel and that heat. swirl. Ooh, I feel this. Now, Tori, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing fire for about four years. It's a lot of fun. We encourage anyone to come take classes. All skill levels are welcome. Whether you're a beginner or a pro at FIRE, we encourage you to come take classes. Are there some and come other moves check us out. We can do? do you have any other moves we can do real quick? Yeah. yeah, we can also do our slice. So we're gonna stack them. We're gonna drop that first arm down. So coming oh. down, other hand. Oh, wait. Switch, there we go. Make a big circle around you. Come to the other side, and that front arm's gonna drop down. Big circles. Nice. Again, trying not to light myself on fire here. <laughs> Good job. And you can always do a cute little wave. Okay. Good awesome. job. All right. Now, again, we have much more to show you. So I'm going to hand these off because we have these other lovely instructors here. And not only do we instruct, we also offer entertainment services. Oh, oh my, wait. Uh, uh, what are y'all doing? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 
Yes, they just ate the fire, y'all. Isn't this awesome? I tell you, they are so passionate about this, right? It's not even work for you guys. I love it. And we have more to learn. I think we're going to get on this guy here in a little bit. Back to you guys. What do you think? That was cool. Right? I mean, technically, Jen, you can now say you got lit on this show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you check that Very off true, your, your to-do list, Jen. Uh, is there anything else that you have always wanted to do but haven't done yet? Yes. I was thinking about that. I heard I heard you guys talking about it. I feel like mm -hmm. I've done so much on SA Live. Maybe going to space. No joke. I mean, I got in a plane already with you guys. Remember yes. that, Fiona? Yes. Yeah, we've talked. Gliding. That's so. true. Mm hmm And we've talked about that before, yeah. that that would Going probably be something oh, yeah. we would do. Oh, yeah. And I'm, Most definitely. Yeah. That yep. would be mine. I would okay. want to Shoot go to space. Up. A little closer to home, I'd probably Shoot be stars, uh, skydiving. I have never been. I had an opportunity one time eons ago to do it with the, the Golden You want to jump that, out of a perfectly good airplane. didn't work out. <laughs> and I've never said, I've always said I wouldn't want to, but I think I'd go for that. Okay. And, and pilot a 747, but that's probably not going to work. So anyway, question of the day. What... What's something you've never yeah. done but would like to try? So let us know what yours is at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll air some of those later on in the show. All right, so ahead on SA Live, these reptiles have fell on tough times, but now they're getting help. How you can join the effort to rescue local reptiles in need. Plus, don't forget, we have more deals of the day to save you money at local restaurants. You don't want to miss these. But first, fall is coming, and it's one of the biggest seasons for weddings. We've got some of the hottest trends for makeup, dresses, and flowers. That is next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, your wedding is one of the most important days of your life, and you have to look your best. And this glam squad on the go knows what you need for that big day. And Nadia Gonzalez, who is the owner of Nerdia Cat Makeup and Art, is here with three trendy fall bridal looks that you can help create. Good yes. afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Oh, so fall weddings, a lot of times people think of June weddings, but especially here in South Texas, nice time if you're going to be outside a little bit. Hopefully yeah. it cools down somewhat. I know, I know. It's a good time to have a wedding. Okay, <laughs> let's look at the, the first look we have right here, and this is, we call it the touch of fall. Yeah, so this is a touch of fall. This is a really natural look, and this is awesome for a bride who wants a more traditional look and not something too dramatic. Okay, and also that hint of ivory in that dress goes so well with Dane's beautiful hair color too. Yeah, so we always take into consideration your skin tone and your undertone to pick the perfect look that works best for the dress and your your look, your undertone. And also the makeup is just slightly subdued, right? Yes, it's slightly subdued, but it's um, it's natural, but it's dramatic enough for wedding, so it'll look awesome during the day and look amazing at nighttime. And we want to point out that the beautiful dress is from Live and Love Bridal and the fl flowers are from Wallflowers in Helotus. And you work yes. with them too, right? Yes, they're amazing companies, local here in San Antonio. They're, they're super amazing for letting us showcase their awesome bouquets and dresses. That is, is so beautiful and you, you could even wear a beautiful necklace with it too with that nice low cut neckline right there. Yeah, right? I would suggest something a little delicate for this dress because it's just so, it's so pretty. You don't want to overpower it. Okay. Overpower this it as well. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous, Dane. Okay, you uh, use specific brands, right? Tell us about some of the brands that you use. Yeah, so our team is a cruelty-free makeup team only. So we are the first and only in San Antonio. We only use products that are not tested on animals. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that's what we really pride ourselves on giving back to the community and just using products that aren't inhumanely tested on animals. And we care about sanitation a lot. So that's something that we also really, really care about. Okay, doing makeup. our next gorgeous bride is Sage and this is the high fashion look. Yeah, so this is more of like an editorial look. I would suggest this one if your dress is a little more simple. Um, she has a lot of clean lines in her face, like her face is very angular, so we went with the nice sharp cat eye with a nice dark lip. The lip is kind of mirroring the flowers in the bouquet. So again, we take into consideration your dress, your bouquet, like your whole aesthetic. <laughs> and of course, with her, she doesn't need a whole lot on the eyes because she has such beautiful eyes and the shape of them and everything and the color too. Yeah, her eyes are beautiful. So we really looked at her eyes and we saw, okay, what, what can we do that's going to accentuate them? So that nice sharp line is going to make them look really beautiful and pop. 
That is absolutely, and like you said, a nice, simple design, but it does have some, some of the uh, patterns in there, some of the flower in with just a very simple skirt, too. Yes, yes. I love this look so much. I, I feel like it's a classic vintage look, and it's very popular, but especially for fall, I think this is a, an amazing look to wear. Now, you and your team do give back to the community, too, right? Yes. Every month, we do a monthly charity, and we give back. So last month we did a charity with Paul Mitchell and some photographers and we did free makeup and it was for headshots and the $50 that they paid was, um, it went to charity. So every month we do a different charity. Wonderful, last look and this is the dramatic with the smoky eyes and that gorgeous long train on that dress. Oh yeah, this dress is amazing. So because this dress is more dramatic, I wanted to do more of a smoky eye look. So the smoky eye is popular as well, um, especially for fall but I took into consideration her undertone. So she's more cool tone, so we went with the cool tones. Um, she has a navy blue eyeliner, and the navy blue is to give you something a little blue for the wedding. And her hair is this really beautiful fishtail braid that goes down, and this is something that I have a hair and makeup team, so my hairstylist did that for her. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, you always have fittings for dresses. You have kind of a, a fitting for the makeup too, right? Yes, you, you definitely need to have um, a makeup trial. I, I always suggest them because they're really important, so that way you can wear your makeup all day and see what it looks like and get, get a feel of it. And if you don't like it, we can always change it. And a special going on with that too, right? Yes. So. I have a special going on right now where it is you get a free makeup bag, a monogram makeup bag full of cruelty free products. All right. Well, if you'd like more information on Nerdy A Cat makeup and art, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And all three of these ladies are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. All right, still ahead on SA Live, getting loopy with a hula hoop. Our Jen Tobias Strusky is learning some really crazy tricks and she's checking out a local aerial dance and acrobatic studio. And next, have you worn glasses for years and you don't have to anymore? How you can have perfect vision and save a lot of money. We've got a great deal straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's a life-changing procedure that can save you big money in the long run. We're talking about blade-free LASIK at Manrique Custom Vision. And joining us now is operations manager Richard Doinoff to tell us about a great deal you've got for us. Hello, hello. Welcome, hello. welcome. Good All right. You. So before we get to that great deal, tell us about the Z-LASIK procedure. Uh, Z-LASIK is a uh, blade and pain free. Um, it takes just a few seconds to die, and of course it's custom designed for each eye, which simply means that once it's downloaded in the laser, it won't turn on unless that's that specific eye underneath of there. And the key to it is Dr. Manrique does all the procedures at our clinic. So for folks considering it or thinking about it, they're worried, you know, does it hurt? How long does it take? Does it hurt? I had a blade cut back in the 90s, and, and I gotta tell you, that didn't even hurt. But this stuff here with being blade free, it's under 10 seconds an eye to make you see correctly, so I've never really had any issues with any kind of pain. Okay, and better eyesight is just one of the benefits, but what are some other benefits of Z-LASIK? Well, you know, it's, it's a freedom. It, we, things that a lot of people that don't have glasses or they, they just take for granted. You can see everything, your kids and everything like that. And it looks like we're coming back to the mass again, um, unfortunately. So, you know, the fogging up of the glasses, contacts drying out, doing damage to your eye. There's so many benefits to do it, but mainly it's a freedom. Because it's, as you mentioned, it's the freedom. It's, it's life changing, right? As far as your lifestyle. Um, do you offer financing? I'm up to 36 months interest free or we have low monthly payment plans. And a lot of the teachers lately have still been using our flexible and medical spending accounts. So we gladly accept those also. All right, so what is the reaction from folks who get the procedure done? You know, I need to bring a video in. I mean, a lot of them still to the day they cry after the procedure because they, they're seeing right after. Um, it's amazing, and for the people more my age, they pull, Doc holds his watch out and they can read it, you know, because you, you can't read after 40 usually, and these people are just amazed, but they all have, I mean, big smiles on their face. Happy, just check out our Facebook page, it'll tell the story. It's the happy tears, okay? And you have a big saving, uh, you have big savings for folks watching today. Absolutely, we love helping out all your viewers. Um, we'll take up to $2,000 off their procedure depending on their prescription. I just, you know, the consultation is absolutely free. You come in, we'll check you out and let you know if you're a good candidate. 
All right, Richard Doinoff, Operations Manager with Manrique Custom Vision. Let's get the information up on the screen. Call or text today and get up to $2,000 off your Z LASIK procedure at Manrique Custom Vision, depending on your prescription. Just call 210-354-2020. That's 210-354-2020 or text LASIK to 45384 for an instant discount. For more information on Manrique Custom Vision, just visit the website sa.manriquei.com. Richard, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, ma'am. Still ahead on SA Live, don't miss our daily deals where you can get all you can eat pizza for only $10. We know what we're having for dinner tonight. Stay with us. Coming up, you're gonna meet this guy and he may be coming to a science classroom near you. Is that right? Uh-huh. Well, let's say how's your moment. You, you can speak on camera. Well, right before the break, you saw this guy and you know, he could be getting a new lease on life after he found his way to a local animal rescue. Yes, Holly Fletcher, owner and president of Fletcher Reptile and Bird Rescue is here to show us how they're helping some untraditional pets get a second chance at life. Hello, Holly. Hi, guys. All right, let's, let, which one are we talking about first? This guy. This right guy, Max right over there, here. Yes. All right, tell us a little bit about Maximus, right? Max came to us from a lady that is going to college um, her she just wasn't gonna be home to take care of him um, he is about six to seven years old um, and he actually at the, in the process of becoming a science classroom pet so he might become the you know assistant science the, the teacher science teacher so yes oh. and you said he's he's a bearded dragon bearded dragon yes and this I don't know if you can see is as big as he will get yes right? so he's, he's full grown okay so his tail goes uh, total what about 18 inches long from, Roughly, yes. from nose to tail yep so. yep and now, are they difficult to take care of? No, um, if you handle them when they're a juvenile, they're actually okay. really good pets. Okay. Um, he's been held a lot. The lady had him. She held him almost every chance she got. So that's why he's so calm with Mike right now. Okay. And, so. and I took my hand off and he was kind of like, oh, and he was trying to climb back up. So as long as I just, he's yeah, secure he's like got, this, he's right? Yeah, the nails are actually in your shirt. So he's uh, he's got a grip on you. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, you just, like, just as long as you put a hand on him, you're bracing him. He's, so he's pretty comfortable right now. Okay. okay. And oh, that's wow. his ear, right? Is that, are those his ears? The little or holes, yes, yeah, are his, his ears. But they actually do not smell. Uh, the nose, the, the hole in front there uh -huh. is actually um, how you breathe. But they actually smell with their tongue. So when he licks the side of your neck or your shirt, he's sensing your scent. Everybody's got a different scent. Okay. So. I don't want to be licked. Like a snake, today, <laughs> right? <so>. Okay. <laughs> like a snake, yes, yes. Okay, so who are we talking about next? I think we're going to talk about Winter. <laughs> she's about done. Uh, Winter is a, um, I think she's about nine or ten years old. Uh, black and white Argentine tegu. Um, she came to me about six or seven years ago from a family that uh, had to downsize their, uh, their pets. Um, now she is full grown. She's about two and a half, three feet long. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the males will be bigger than her. The uh -huh. jowls will be bigger. Um, and are uh, they longer? Did she, I mean, they, are they, they just have a little bigger? bit longer length okay. than uh, the females do too. Does um, she make a good pet too? She is. She okay. did. Um, she is. <laughs> uh, she actually was held and treated like a dog. So she was, you know, handled by four kids. So me handling her is nothing to her. So, <laughs> <laughs> so she, she is my, she's my girl. She's my, she's my dog. So. <laughs> what is one of the bigger mistakes people make when they get a reptile for a pet? Um, not enough information. They don't do their research. Um, they, some pet stores do not know enough about them, so they get told the wrong information. Um, so that's why I do um, SA Live and PetSmart and the expos and shirts on Lone Star Reptile Expo to teach people the correct housing for these guys. And we saved the best for last. <laughs> well, no, wait, no, we're not done yet, but who is this? This is Juju. He is eight-year-old um, Western hognose snake. He is actually full grown. Um, now, the nose, the reason they have a hognose name is because of the little shovel nose that they have 
um, right here on the end. Um, that's actually how they uh, move the sand and dirt to find their meals, to find shelter, all oh. in the desert. So like that's so. the pug of the, yes. the snake yes, world. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and exactly. you are a nonprofit, so people can always help you out with donations. Right? Yes, very. Donations are a big thing right now. Um, because of COVID, uh, my events are lower than usual. Um, but I actually also have a Amazon wish list too that they can donate to. So. All right. Well, if you'd like to find out more about that, if you'd like to maybe adopt one of the animals, you can get all the information on Fletcher Reptile and Bird Rescue. Go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Holly, thank you so Whoa, hello. Okay, Max, you're okay. Yes. <laughs> oh. Next on SA Live, you can learn some amazing tricks at a local aerial and acrobatic studio. Our Jen Tobias Trusky is conquering fear and tackling the trappies. Let's see how she does. Keep it here. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, we've got multiple daily deals for you today, and here comes another one. You can get all you can eat pizza for just $10, and it's happening all day today at Playland Pizza. Don't you love when the little edges of the pepperoni kind of mm -hmm. curl up like that? Mm -hmm. Hey, they're located downtown San Antonio, 400 East Houston. Check them out and oh, chow down. We still have one more daily deal that can save you money coming up, but you gotta keep watching. All right, well, you first saw our daring Jen Tobias Trusky play with fire and defy gravity at Ariel City Studio. Tough act to follow, Jen. <laughs> uh, what do you have going on now? I know. I know. Again, thanks, Robert, our producer. No, uh, this is fun. We're having a great time out here. We're at, in Converse at Ariel City, and Michelle here is going to show me some tricks now on the trapeze. Right, Michelle? Yes, Hello. <laughs> so everybody knows what trapeze is. It's probably one of the most common ones you will find in the lovely circus arts. Um, so yes, I will be showing you how to get onto the trapeze, and I'll be demonstrating a side star for you. Side star. Okay. I'll watch closely. Today. Yes. All right, so first you are going to pull yourself up into a side mount so you can have your hands onto the side of the elbow in what's called a mixed grip. You're going to reach up as high as you can. You're going to pull yourself up and hook your leg. So you're coming up and you're going to hook your leg right onto the bar. You're then going to pull yourself up as high as you can on one side of the ropes, reach over, and you're going to come and sit forward. Okay. From here, so you can come to a seat. You're going to lean back just a little bit, thread that leg through, and now I'm sitting on the, clear, or on the trapeze. Okay. From here, we're going to go into our side star. So you're going to pick which direction you want to lean towards. I'm dominant on my right, so I'm going to actually lean to my left so I can hang on my right arm. Both, um, both hands onto the rope. I'm going to lean my torso over, and I'm going to place my other leg, and I'm going to push it into the ropes with my foot. So I'm going to lean over, take the instep of my foot, push it into the rope. The same arm of the same leg that's pushing the rope is going to go high. I'm going to turn my hips out and I'm going to reach up. Woo. And now I'm a star. Now she is the star. I don't know if I can follow this act. Okay. To come down, you just come right back to your seat. Lean back. Get that leg back through. Lean forward. Hook your knee pin. And come on now. Okay. Worth a try. Got it. Now, how many years have you been doing this? <laughs> I've been doing this for about 10 years now. Oop. Okay. You got it. Let's so reach right up onto the ropes. Hook that leg, perfect, and right on up. There you go, Ooh, nice job. Okay, definitely upper body strength here. Okay. Nice job, okay. Now from there, you're gonna Star. pick which side that you wanna lean on. We'll lean, um, I guess my left, because my right is my stronger side? Yes. Okay. So, so both hands are gonna come over onto the rope. Okay. You're gonna place this foot right up onto the rope. Perfect, push, push, push. <laughs> you're going to bring that hand up, other hand, right hand up. You're gonna push your hips towards me. Oops. Push into the rope okay. with your foot. My phone's right here, you're so, good, you're okay. Good. Push into the rope with that foot, turn your hips out, and <laughs> now you're a star. <laughs> awesome, okay, I did it, no nice stopping. Nice job, <laughs> so coming right back, perfect, and you're gonna thread that leg back Ooh. through, and you're gonna walk yourself on down. Okay, and as I'm about to get down here, guys, we have some people back here continuing to do some really cool, fun things. And then we are gonna, they're on the Lyra, by the way, right there. So there's so many things you could do there. But our next fun thing to do involves hula hoops. All right. All right. So we, we are, are gonna we have Cass out. here. Hello, Cass. Hello. We are gonna do some circus style multi hooping with some hoop blocks. Okay. So remember, we're gonna step yes. right in, bring it up, and the first two 
We're holding with the right, second one with the left, and pulling straight out and up. Okay. There you go. Oh, and that's a hip back. Let's give a little spin. Show it. Look at you. All right. Love it. Second one, we're going to put it together. Okay. Step right out. And remember that flick. So we're holding the first two leg buckets with that mm -hmm. dominant hand and flick. Mm. There you go. There you go. Thumbs up. Give it a big, there you go. And then hold the tight. All okay. Right. <laughs> and then that left hand is going to come up and around. Big swing up and fold it right in, hooking it on that index finger. Boop. And remember, we got to present. And there you have it. Beautiful, yes. got it. Now tell people where you guys are located and if so, they want to sign up for classes. We are located here in Converse, Texas. And if you guys want more information on classes and how to sign up, you can visit the website, arielcitytexas.com. All right, we have all the information, of course, on salive.com, so you can go there and find out. And these ladies, like I said, have been doing it for years, and they love it. Would you agree, Cass? Oh, yes, Absolutely. we love it. Yes. <laughs> all right, thanks for teaching me, guys. Y'all are awesome. Back to you. I think I'll stick to my day job. You, you inspired <laughs> us, Jen. We're upside. We're hanging upside down right now. I did. <laughs> yeah. And you did fantastic, I by the way. I'm doing that. I love it. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. Wait, no wait, here we go. Right, live television. Big My finish. hair defies gravity. Oh, wow. Yes. Ah, there we go. Well, hats off to you, though, yes. Jen. That was fantastic. Seriously. I mean, I can't wait to see your performance at our thank Christmas you. party. <laughs> Get we'll bring more. the whole okay. hoops. <laughs> no promises. And again, that's what happens when you miss the meeting, Jen. So, all right, thank you very much, Jen. Hey, next, as I said, lots of people are, of course, talking about vaccines right now. We have a local doctor here hoping to clear up some of your questions. It's what you need to know coming up. It's a subject that's on most people's minds right now, and this is certainly the month for it. August is National Immunization Awareness Month. Dr. Roland Reyna, founder of Health Texas, is here to tell us more about the importance of immunizations. Hello and welcome. Hi, How are All you? Right. So there's a lot of talk about the COVID vaccine <clears throat> right now, but which other vaccines does the community need to stay healthy? So I'm gonna talk about the adult vaccines right now. I'll start younger to older. Okay. We generally speaking, uh, meningococcal vaccine, uh, starting uh, really when you go to college, if you're in the residential area, or if you're in the military, uh, in, in the military, if you're in close confides with people. After that, the human papillomavirus, APV virus, mm -hmm. that prevents uh, cervical warts. Uh, this is important because that's the cause of cervical cancer, so you're actually preventing cancer. That's re recommended from the ages of nine to 26. However, however, if you're significantly sexually active after the age of 26, that might be something you might wanna consider. Of course, a tetanus shot every 10 years. The flu shot, certainly for people over the age of 65, recommended over the age of 50, and for anybody who wants to prevent getting the flu. Mm -hmm. This year, I'd recommend it even more so because if you happen to get the flu and, and the coronavirus, that would be devastating. At the age of 50, uh, the herpes zoster vaccine is now available. It's very effective. It's a two shot uh, vaccine and it's very effective. In our lives, 30% of us will have uh, shingles at some point in our lifetime. Then you get to 65. Over the age of 65, the Prevnar uh, 13, which is for pneumonia, a year later, uh, you get the pneumonia shot. And then, of course, COVID, COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, it's recommended for everybody over the age of 12 to until we go. Um, and and it, th there are new recommendations that it looks like coming out. Uh, the New York Times reported that uh, President Biden will recommend that people get the vaccine, the booster shot, eight months after you got your original vaccine. And I recommend very highly. I mean, I see people dying on a regular basis. This is not a hoax. This is real. I don't care if it's been approved by the FDA. Uh, it's been approved for, for immediate use. It's saving lives. Without question, people who are, who are in the hospital now, those who are primarily dying are people who have not been vaccinated. You get the vaccine, it will save your life. And I, and I, I talked to somebody this morning and they said, well, Dr. Raina, I'm gonna gamble. I said, well, please keep in mind that you're gambling with your life. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, so if, you, if you're gonna go get the vaccines, where should you go? Should you go to your primary care doctor? <clears throat> yeah. So. Most primary care doctors don't do this because it's really kind of difficult to do, but they're all over the place. HEBs, Walmarts, Walgreens, they're all over. Uh, any pharmacy generally has vaccination 
uh, centers now. So that's very easy to do. All right, so we've got about 30 seconds left, but will there be another vaccine for the Delta virus or does the current COVID that, vaccine, you know, that's a that? great, great question. Yeah. The answer is the current vaccine covers for the Delta variant, 88% coverage, but we are seeing some breakthrough. And I think it's because of the breakthrough that we're starting to recommend that we get the, the booster shots as well. All right, Dr. Roland yeah. Reyna, thank you so yeah. much for that. Health Texas has 17 locations in the San Antonio area. You can find more information online at healthtexas.org or give them a call at 210-731-HTMG. That's 210-731-4864. Dr. Reyna, thank you so much. Thank you, Fiona. Tomorrow on SA Live, we have local contestants on the show that are on the next episode of ABC's Holy Moly. We talk about their experience with the TV show and we play our own round of mini golf with a few twists. Plus, Chris Perez has created his own record label to support Tejano musicians in Texas. We get a first-hand look at what he's planning. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right, earlier we asked you, what's something you have, you've never done but would like to try? And this is from Dell. Road trip around Texas and try every barbecue place, some old bakeries and places that have old fashioned burgers, a foodie road trip. I love that. Paula says rock climbing would be fun. Yes, indeed. Catherine says skydiving or bungee jumping. Oh, she's on your island, okay, and I am a big I didn't see. What, zip what lighting. I always wanted to fly through the air. Yeah, that's pretty cool to get one of those real long zip lines. Yes. That was always fun. Remember we did that through the hill country? Yeah. Yeah. Very oh. cool. All right. Tomorrow we have local. Con oh, wait. Mm -mm. Deal of the day. Oh, deal of the day. The deal of the day. All, All day, day happy, happy hour. hour. Mm -hmm. At the Hoppy Monk there near Stone Oak from 4 to 6.30 p.m. I had forgotten about all the deals that we had going on here because <laughs> we had those delicious fajitas and I'm full and I wasn't thinking about food right now. So anyway, don't forget we are doing golf, a little bit of that, that holy moly. Are you going to work on your, your work your, on the short game? Yes, yes. indeed. Yeah. <laughs>